Right then, I'm going to try these settings out. Obviously, that goes a bit there. Full volume, full iron volume, so you can hear it. We'll have it in fast. Ground balance to suit, so it's, it's quiet. This sensitivity as high as you can go. You can can go further, but it goes a bit there. So we'll use it in the field just above the 45. And I've set the discrimination three clicks below. Well, it's smack in the centre. Just just in the centre that is. And we see how it gets on. Discriminating hot rocks, iron, large iron against tiny fragments of silver and gold. Hopefully it performs well. Let's see if it gets on. Right, I've just seen a picture of the settings that I'm using. I've only been out once with the machine and I'm trying to learn where to set the discrimination to get rid of hot rocks, mineralised coal as such, which on the dais which I'm used to, the mine lab don't seal, the dais sees them and they come in about 27, 28. So you start to get an idea, but because it's got no uh, target uh, screen, idea on the screen or anything, it's all about setting the discrimination right. Um, I've set it to, to eliminate these. This is what I'm trying to work out, how to eliminate the hot rocks. Give me the iron tone. You get, you get the odd squeak come through, but you can tell that that's definitely something you don't want to dig in that discrimination. Will I be losing cut quarters? A little tiny cut quarter there. Uh, cut quarter still coming through. A fragmented hammered. Don't even know what hammered that is. I think it's a Mary, but I'm not sure. Got the M on the top. Will that still pick it up? Still comes through on there. Uh, a little sixpence. We've got a, a gold ring, but there's a little break in the gold ring, and that can turn a nine carat gold ring to say not like iron on some machines. Real low tone that will give now on most machines, but seeing if it will discriminate. Uh, even when I pull it right away and you've got a little whisper, it's still a repetitive whisper. There's no iron tone. So that's good. Another gold ring. Same. Uh, we've got here, it's like it's, it's nine carat gold, rolled gold, and that is it's on a link which can get past some machines and they won't see it. But still sees that fine. Little grunt they want to move. What I want to do, I'm going to take one of these links off. And that would be, I don't know, the smallest weight of gold you will ever see. <laughs> uh, oh, hopefully it picks it up. That's with these discrimination settings. Just about here, a little whisper. Oh. That's, that's quite impressive, it still seems... <laughs> Obviously that's very, very, very minute bit of gold. Still picking it up, no grunt, so... With them settings, and that set of discrimination, everything else is coming through. Hot rocks then. Big iron. No, that's big chunky iron. That, that trick a lot of uh, machines. Big massive bolt nail. I know a lot of people use it at the nine o'clock, but at the minute, with testing these little bits and bobs, obviously I've only been out once, doing a few little simple tests, just starting, but. About eight inches still on a fragmented hammer coin. That's bloody impressive, that is. That little tiny, little tiny buckle. 
no problem. 95 silver. Uh, I can't get over that. A little t Normally, like the one link could probably, it's not as much as, as much of a test, but when it's a few links together, it throws a lot of machines out. No problem, eh? Happy days. I'll take that. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of medieval gold, gold ring. No problem. Look what it's like. Gold ring. I don't I even tried this. Gold ring and the uh, hot rock. <laughs> what about that? Hot rock on its own. Put right there, what's that, three inches apart and the gold ring. Let's try a little quick quarter. That'll be a test and a half. Let's see, quick quarter and that. See it's, see it's splitting it though. So you, you'd, you'd, you'd be able to split that and find out there's two targets. Oh, if you were doing it on the edge of your call, look. That's bloody good that is. Very impressed, very, very impressed. Hot rock on its own. Uh, what else have we got to put up against it? This is uh, that's a bro real broken hammer. Thirteen, fourteen inches, big hammer lot. Ah, very good, very good. Oh yeah. Silver chain. Silver chain and hot rock. Don't see the hot rock then. It chooses the good target over the over the discriminated target. Drop the chain. Right then. Tomorrow I'm out on the horde site and seeing if that will pick up any cut quarters, cut halves. Even the full ones, hopefully. We've been over it about four or five times now, and it's gone very, very quiet. So fingers crossed tomorrow, the Deep Tech Vista Gold gets a hammered. Keep you posted. Just try this before we uh, finish the video. And two big pieces of iron. And we've got William III shilling. Let's just try that. I don't know how it's going to work, but hopefully you can still hear the silver coin, even if this is giving a load of iron tone, if you hear the brr 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 and you get the whisper coming through, that's good. Bloody hell, even with that big piece of iron, it's choosing the silver over it. Drop, drop the coin there, hit the coin up. <laughs> Rapid fire, man. Uh, let me try that with the hammer coin. A little hammered, uh, Eddie Penny. You got the iron click. That's a very thin, real wafer thin hammer coin. And uh, and now. That is impressive, very impressive. Can't wait for tomorrow now. Right, see you in a bit. There, we've got a George III shilling, and there's a piece of foil, it's virtually the same size 
the George III shilling. Test this with your machine, see what you think. Real normal uh, tin foil out of the kitchen cupboard. See how, see how it picks it up, so. Cut that in half. See how it copes now. Cut that in half again. It's a quarter of the size of the shilling. Cut that in half again. That's a tiny bit on the end of my finger. That's tin foil. That is impressive. I've done that test on a quite a few machines and they won't get to that nowhere near. Maybe half the size. Let's do a quarter again. If that picks that up, I'll eat it. <laughs> I ain't eating that. It's picking it up. Try that on your machine and see how, see how you get on. That is ridiculous. I'm to go a half of that again. No chance. Oh, I did this far. My finger. Bloody yeah, that is. I can't even rip that in half again. That is ridiculous. Twenty-five kilohertz with brilliant discrimination. The more you go up in the kilohertz, normally the discrimination suffers. But very good. I'd love to try the. Uh, the other Vista machines, which have got lower kilohertz as well, I wonder what they perform like. Impressive. 